Hello everyone, in this lecture I am just going to demonstrate UART transmission in the microcontroller STM32F446RE with the help of STM3MX. Let's get started. So I am going to use the Nucleo F446RE development board. So from my Nucleo manual, you can find that the USR2 peripheral of my microcontroller that is nothing but PA2 and PA3 is connected to the ST-Link UART terminal. So here you can see the ST-Link that is connected to the microcontroller. So to this USB port terminal, the USR2 of the microcontroller is directly connected. So I am just going to use that USR2 for transmitting and communicating with the software that is available in the PC. So open the STM32 CubeMX. Select the microcontroller to be STM32F446RE. Double click the microcontroller to select it. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to set these two pins that is PA2 and PA3 in UART mode. Click on this and select USRTX and click on this and select USR2RX. Now go to the connectivity tab and select the USR2. Here in the mode select asynchronous and under the configuration you can set the baud rate for the communication and I am just going to communicate at 9600 baud rate. So that's all about the configuration. Then go to the NVIC settings and enable this checkbox. If you are using the interrupt for receiving or interrupt for any transmission then you just want to check this box. So I will try to explain about the interrupt in receive mode and that's it. Now the configuration is done, go to the project manager tab, I am not going to change the clock configuration, go to the project manager tab and give a name for the project and then select the tool chain to be MDK ARM V5 and in the code generator select copy only the necessary library files radio button and then click on this generate code button in the top right corner of the window for generating the code. Open, the code has been generated, open the MDK ARM folder and open the keel file. Now open this project and open the main.c inside the application or user. The code has been generated and now for transmitting the data in UART communication, so I am coming inside the main function and inside the while of one I am just going to continuously transmit the data hello. So for that I am just going to use the function call hall uart transmit and as the first parameter this function receives the handle variable that is nothing but generated over here. So you can see uart handle type diff uart of huart2 this is the variable we just want to pass the address of this variable so give a ampersand and pass this variable and the second place you just want to pass a buffer so I'm just going to declare a buffer called tx data so here I'm just going to declare the buffer tx data of 6 And inside the buffer, I'm just going to type in hello. So this is the buffer that is containing the string hello. You cannot pass a single variable. Instead, you just want to pass the address of the single variable or you can pass a buffer to this function call for transmitting. So the next two parameters, nothing but the size of the buffer that you want to transmit. So in my case, hello is nothing but five digit. So I'm giving it as five. And the next parameter is the timeout. So I am giving here a small delay 10. And below this I am just going to give a 
call delay of one second and that's it now this string hello will be transmitted continuously at an interval of one second from the ur2 of my microcontroller now i'm building this code now the compilation is successful with zero errors and zero warnings connect your nuclear board to the pc through usb cable and then click on this download button for downloading the flash to the microcontroller now the flash has been successfully downloaded to my microcontroller so for viewing this data that is coming from the microcontroller i am not going to use any external serial to uart converter or usb to uart converter as i said we are having a usb converter in my stlink driver that has been connected through usb cable to my pc usb port so i am just going to connect my nuclear board to the pc through usb port and for viewing the uart data that is coming out of my microcontroller i am just going to use the software real term so you can use any of the serial terminal software but i think for this software in the video description you can directly use the software so initially we just want to configure the uart communication firstly we just want to set the baud rate for the communication as per our cubemx we set the baud rate to be 9000 so this is our baud rate for communication that we set in the cubemx software and second we just want to select the port at which the st link driver is connected to our pc so that can be found out by going to the device manager in your pc and here under the ports tab you can find that st link virtual com is connected to com3 so here I am just going to select 3 and then click on this open. Now the port has been successfully opened in your real term software. And I am running the program in my microcontroller development board by pressing on the reset button. And you can see in my real term software the word hello is being continuously printed with an interval of 1 second. So this is our programming logic right. We just transmitted the hello for every one second in our program. You can see this is our programming logic. So that is happening here. So in this way you can continuously transfer data in UART communication from your STM32 F446 RE microcontroller to any device that is working under UART communication. See you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.